Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Tropics 2. Last time we made our way through this castle, what I believe to be Dracula's castle in Transylvania, and now we're about to take on the boss of this area. Not sure if it's Zoda, not sure if it's Dracula, but let's go up here and take him on. Alright. Uh oh. Spikes are appearing. That's not good. Okay, the good thing is oh it's Zoda, okay. The good thing is he's kinda he's pretty easy, actually. Uh, all you need to do is kind of get close to him, and we have our Tri-Stars, which are pretty useful in this fight, actually. And, you know, just kind of sit there, and um, the Tri-Stars should take out the bats as they come after you. So, yeah, just get slightly off-center, jump if you need to, and just start wailing away. And that's all we got to do for this one. Pretty cool. Um, my apologies that last uh, the last episode was kind of boring. We were just going through a castle, but unfortunately, that's all I could get in the last time there. And, uh, okay, Zoda should be going down pretty quickly. Yeah, see, our Tri-Stars are make short words to the bats, because especially since they move in that diagonal pattern, they really... Hey, there we go, got him. Fantastic. All right, well, that was easy enough, so let's go on to the next area now, and, uh, we'll be okay. What? Oh, man. It's an owl. It's a killer owl. Now, as soon as the owl appears, you want to go right after him. Just to, Whoa! Now, he, well, he uses little feathers that he shoots at you, so we're going to use a potion. We have five of them, so we might as well. When he does that, it, he kind of reminds me of Pizazu from uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Okay, and put these bats, and no, careful not to jump too far forward, otherwise, if you jump into that black hole there, you're going to die instantly. So, just kind of go at him like this, and hopefully he'll go down soon. And yeah, never be afraid to use a potion, just because, again, we have so many of them, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, the reason I said that we needed those potions is just, because, just in case some sort of disaster occurs, but... I was able to take him out pretty quickly. All right, and we did it. Good job, everybody, good job. All right. And we get some more useless points. So as is accustomed to this point in the game, I will now make a joke about how useless the points are. That's right, the points are like a vibrator with dead batteries. <laughs> it, it never gets old, viewers, I promise. And all we have left to do in this room is get the Tetrad. Yeah, and that makes, let's see, ooh, six of them. Fantastic. And we'll get some life now. All right. We're up to 17 hearts. This is, this is good. We've got a lot of life. This is, this is great. Um, sorry I can't fast forward through this. I don't have a turbo mode on this emulator. But uh, that's all right. 66,000 points. Awesome. And since we're stuck in the room all alone, we have nothing else to do but to warp out here using the book. And off we go. Pow, 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 um, pow, 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 pow. And it doesn't matter if we get warped on our own, or if we uh, if we warp on our own, or we get banished. It's still apparently radical. Mike must not have much of a social life or something if he thinks this is radical. Hmm, a forest. Where could we possibly be? All right, let's take a look. Hey, the music sounds pretty cool already. Yeah. All right, let me take a second and uh, get ready for this world and be right back. All right. Well, this looks very nice, very calm. We got some rivers and some forests there. And we have a knight, apparently. Let's talk to him. Odds Bodkin's a stranger. Me thinks you should see the king. Man, that sounds like British talk, even though I just naturally threw in a British accent there. I don't know why. Over Camelot. Ah, we are in Camelot. Sweet. Ah, this is Lancelot. Cool. No doubt you've heard of my great and wondrous adventures. Actually, I think I'm all right to come with you. No, no, sweet Concord, stay here. I will send help as soon as I've accomplished a daring and heroic rescue in my own particular... Idiom, sir? Idiom. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of those clips coming, viewers. But my schedule is quite full. Yeah, he's busy, uh... He's busy dealing with Patsy and rescuing that, uh, you know, rescuing the king and killing everybody in the castle there. Oh, well, I'm not a citizen, so I'll just waltz right on through. No worries. Ah, it's Arthur! Oh, man. So you know what's coming, viewers. You know what kind of clips are coming. Oh, man. What do we got here? <laughs> Get out of here. Ah, uh, reminiscent. So they're not fighting in this one. They're training. Even though they're still trying to kill each other. And we got a couple people here. I am Sir Spineless the Coward. 
<laughs> nice. Uh, Sir Spineless the Cowardly. Classic. I serve the king. Of gruel, swill, or mutton? Man, the eaten must be good? Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't sound appealing to me. Look at the guards here. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. That's right. Because... Oh, a coffee break. Nice. A donut, a donut and a sandwich. Because they had donuts and sandwiches back in the days of King Arthur. Ah! I am Arthur, King of the Britons. No, 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 no. That isn't just going to work. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. That's better. Ah, Merlin the Magician told us to expect us, and just in time. There are some who call me... Tim? Yeah, I'd much rather have that guy than Merlin. Oh, there's this awful, mean, terrible dragon you see. He's making a mess of things, okay? But they all seem to be out on quests. What could they possibly be doing? You must tie her down on a bed and spank her. You must spank her well, and after you have spanked her, you may deal with her as you like, and then spank me. And spank me? And me? And me? Yes, yes, you must give us all a good spanking. Ah, oh, man, I want Galahad's job. That's nice. Will we smite down this terrible beast? Absolutely not. Oh, we have enough cowards here already. Okay, no, sorry, viewers. Okay, so let me uh, reload here, and I'll say the correct answer here in just a second. Okay, so now we're going to say yes. Oh, we're going to be christened. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, he gave us some more life. Fantastic. I thought he might stab us with that electric sword. Hey, we're now a knight of the round table. I hope we don't have to sing this annoying song. We're knights of the round table. We dance where we're able. We do routine to call the scenes of footwork in Ben Cable. We dine well here in Camelot. We eat ham and jam and spam art. <laughs> ah, I've been waiting so long to get to use some of these clips, viewers. You have no idea. Okay, good luck, Sir Mike. Yes, we are now Sir Mike. Okay, we talked to him again. Is he saying anything? Let's see. Oh, oh, shoot. Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay, great. So we're now gonna smite the dragon. That's great. But how exactly are we gonna go about doing this? Hmm. Well, let's get out of here and see if we can figure it out. Okay, I thought maybe this dude up here can help us. Oh, good. Now we can pass. Fantastic. And all those other guys say the same, so great. Let's enter this cave. And now let's go slay the dragon. All right. Okay, first room, we got some blobs, piece of cake. Now, the thing about this room is you want to make sure that you're right in the middle here in the upper portion of this room. Uh, when you kill that final blob, and I'll show you why here in a second. Get that blob, whatever. Come here. All right, come on. Come on, Mr. Blob. There we go. Whoa! Yep, you fall through the floor. But, we can do here, and we get our first potion. Excellent. All right, now we'll head over here, since that's the only thing we can do. And we should avoid these skull guys. We don't have to fight them. So now I'll head up here, and here, and here. And if we go through this door, we're right back to where we started. Now, same deal, we want to make sure that we're in the upper right hand, or upper right hand, the upper uh, middle corner when we kill these blobs, and we fall again, but this time we're going to go up. Alright. Now, this part, we want to kill that guy, or knock him down, rather, and now we head up this way, and we get our potion. Now, don't kill that magician just yet. We'll get, we'll deal with him in just a minute. I hope he's not as bad as Tim the Magician, because... And I, well, I wouldn't want to have to face off against Tim the Magician. That was intense. By the way, I really enjoy it. Now, same thing here. Don't kill the Magician. Uh, it's I love when I get to use uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail clips. I've been looking forward to doing that all game, viewers. Trust me. And I finally get to do it, and it's great. As soon as I started thinking about doing this LP, um, I immediately, you know, was waiting for Camelot. Okay, and we get our third potion. Now, now we're going to go back and kill this Magician. And uh, be careful there. Whoops. Whoops. And if you ever get into a jam, you can always escape there. Reset them. Okay. Now, we have a, we have more room to maneuver in uh, this one. Before, you know, we had all those floors there that we had to deal with. Oh, but he's still annoying. Okay. 
And come on. There we go. And we fall in the center there. And now we're going to want to head up there. Uh, let me check my time, and I'll be right back. Okay, we'll do one more room, then we'll call it a day. Okay, now all we have to do is just deal with some of these knights. And uh, they're pretty straightforward. They just come charging at you. Just watch for that shuriken attack there. And there they go. Okay, now the next room leads to a series of rooms that we'll deal with next time, so I'll go ahead and stop here. But next time, we will continue to make our way through this cave and slay the dragon for the glory of Camelot. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.